Hello everyone! This is another Writer Wednesday video where I answer your writing questions. Today's writer question comes from Emmanuel who writes, Hi Jessica, just started reading your book Save the Cat Writes a Novel. Yay! And I'm wondering if I should read it all the way through first and then start my novel or stop where I'm at at the break into two and build the beginning of the novel. Not sure if you will read this, but <laughs> I am reading this on camera, but I sure hope so. Um, I have an idea for a character and a theme or a direction for the novel, just not sure if I should stop here on the break into two and build something, see where it goes. Thanks, and I appreciate you your uh, work in helping us who want to write. Well, thank you so much, Emmanuel, for your question, and I'm happy to help. So I have gotten this question before. People want to know kind of how to approach the process of using Save the Cat, and specifically my book Save the Cat Writes a Novel, to write their novel. I think it really depends on who you are as a writer and how you work and how your brain works. Like, you have a couple options. One, you can read the book all the way through. You can sort of get a, a layout of the 15 beats, understand them as a whole, and then you can go back and start to approach um, each of the beats separately and start to lay out your novel. That's certainly one way to do it. On the other hand, you could go through and start to um, you could go through and start reading the sections and, and the acts and then stopping and like brainstorming those beats for yourself and then coming back and reading the book, um, the next part and brainstorming that part. That's definitely an, a way to do it too. Um, I would actually recommend that you tackle it the first way. Um, read the whole, at least the whole chapter about the beats, which I think is chapter three in the book. At least read that entire chapter before you actually start writing. It's definitely fine to start writing down ideas as you read, because hopefully you're getting ideas. That's why I wrote the book, to inspire you with ideas. Um, so definitely start writing stuff down. But I wouldn't necessarily start writing until you've read the whole chapter about the beats. Um, the reason is there's so many beats later on that really tie into the earlier beats or that tie back to the earlier beats or the earlier beats will set up later beats. And the beat sheet is really like a whole beast. It, it's not, even though it breaks story down into 15 plot points, those plot points are very interwoven and they're very intermingled because a story is that way. You know, like every chapter in your story should be interwoven and, and interlinked with the rest of the chapters. Otherwise, it shouldn't be in your novel, right? Because it's it would stand by itself and it's not necessary. So um, because of that, the beat sheet really is meant to work as a whole and to bring your story together as a whole. So you might have... Um, when you read the later parts of the chapter and, and you read about the later beats, it might inspire ideas for the first beat or the second beat or the third beat. So I definitely would um, recommend that people read the entire, at least chapter three, before they start actually writing anything for their novel. Again, definitely write stuff down if you're inspired, um, but I wouldn't actually start writing the actual novel until you have a full grasp of what the beat sheet looks like. Um, now that's all to say that I'm just assuming that you're that you're plotting this novel in advance as opposed to uh, pantsing your way through the novel, which is writing by the seat of your pants. Um, in that case, you would probably just write the novel first and then read the book and figure out how to use the Save the Cat method to revise the book. But um, I'm assuming that you're wanting to kind of get a full outline of the book first, of your book first, before you start writing it. And in that case, I would read the entire chapter three before you start. I hope this helps. I hope it helps all of you, um, anybody else who's wondering about the same thing. If you have a question that you'd like me to answer in my next Writer Wednesday video, please leave it in the comments below. I look forward to reading it. Happy writing, everyone.